Imagine if I gave you one gallon of gas for your car and said, see how far this gets you. Call me when you're empty. How far do you think you'd get? 20 miles? Maybe 40 in a hybrid? For some engineering students building cars for Shell's yearly eco-marathon, that gallon of gas in California will get them all the way to New York and beyond. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. For decades, scientific minds have been trying to crack the holy grail of our car-obsessed culture, the maximum distance a vehicle can travel on one gallon of gasoline. Luckily, there's a contest each year for engineering students to try and figure it out. I traveled to the University of Toronto in Canada to visit the team that won the Technical Innovation Award at last year's Eco Marathon for their design of a custom-made engine that literally sips gasoline. The Shell Eco Marathon competition is a global event and it brings together teams at the high school and university level to compete in building the most fuel-efficient vehicle. Wow, this is a car? Looks like a pod that's been delivered from the future. Well, it is a prototype. It's just meant to fit one person. So let's take a look at the engine, actually. Wow. So this is a highly efficient engine? It's a highly efficient, uh, one horsepower, 1 1.6 pound, foot-pounds of torque engine that we designed and built. Horsepower is the power needed to move 550 pounds, one foot in one second. Torque is the force acting on an object, causing it to rotate. How much mileage does this car get? Approximately 2,700 miles per gallon. 2,700, that's incredible. How are you able to achieve such efficiency with this car? There's a lot of things. The car itself is made out of carbon fiber. It's extremely light, but it gives the same strength as you know metal like aluminum or steel will. The engine itself uses as little fuel as possible. To give you a scale, uh, our fuel tank is only uh, 30 millimeters. <laughs> That's it? That's the fuel tank. Wow. Should see. What about the aerodynamics? That also uh, affects the car as well. Uh, as you can see, the car itself is a, is a teardrop shape. It's wider at the front and then tapers off when it comes to the back. And this allows for a very fluid airflow around the car. And how much time does it take to design, manufacture, and test something like this? Uh, it took our team approximately 4,000 hours to design this engine, and about 600 hours in manufacturing, and 200 hours in testing. Where does one find 4,000 hours to design an engine? You guys are students. We don't mm -hmm. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> we basically lived in the design workshop for weeks at a time prior to the competition. I slept here, I ate here, didn't shower for days. Basically anything we needed to do to get the car done, uh, we did. <laughs> wow. Wait, the driver goes here? Yes, that's basically the driving seat. Her helmet goes right beneath this roll cage and this is her steering wheel, which rotates with all the controls for the car. And her legs go through this part and go right there, and this is her windshield. Yes, the driver of this eco car is 100 pound engineering student, Christine Contalone, and she fit perfectly into the cockpit. Now, as you're driving, are you alone or are you in constant communication with teammates? Um, I am in co cell phone communication with one other member of my team, and he tells me when to turn on the engine, when to turn it off, what speed to go to, that kind of thing. Do you ever feel claustrophobic inside? Not really. Um, I like the fresh air when I get out of the car, but other than that, I'm pretty roomy in here. Christine was sealed inside the cockpit for about 20 minutes for each race, reaching speeds up to 35 miles per hour, but coasting most of the time to save fuel. She must feel right at home because she and the team are racing again this year, trying to hit a new record, 4,000 miles per gallon. I only had one more question. I'm kind of hungry. Can you stop at the drive-thru for me? Sure.